I mean, I couldn't, I ain't, I couldn't really, but I just tell him, uh, it's time to go fishing, you know, trying, trying to bring him in, really, man. I don't know what he's thinking, but uh, like I said before, uh, he, he, if he can't get butt, I'm here, I'm ready, I'll, I'll come take them boats. I don't know what he was thinking, uh, but it, it's hard to be somebody that's, that's, that's hungry, young and hungry, and you know, uh, and having fun with doing what they're doing. He know that he been in that spot before. Yeah, that's, a, that's why, that's why these guys don't want to fight, you know. Made their minds up about the WBC. A matter of fact, at the WBC convention, that Spence was going supposed to be fighting um, Keith Thurman. Thurman. Keith Thurman. So they already put that in before we even, you know, said anything to him about it. But we shouldn't have to say nothing to him about it because we was number one. Mm -hmm. And he should have, you know, followed through with that. But I guess they beat him to the punch. Oh, yeah. yeah after this, uh, Spence, whoever you fight, he got 120 days to, to fight Boots or, or get the title off. Yeah. Um, shit. I guess, you know, Spence versus Crawford for undisputed. It has to happen quick. That, that's <laughs> it. It seems like unified champion Errol Spence is surrounded. You know, in June, he's supposed to come back. Most people speculate he'll fight Keith Thurman in June or May. I think it's closer to June. After that, according to Jerron Ennis' father, he has 120 days to fight Boots Ennis or vacate the IBF title. I know Spence has injuries. He has been through a car accident, a bad car accident. But when's the last time Errol Spence has had a mandatory? It's been a minute. And his mandatories are popping out of everywhere because he got the WBC mandatory with Keith Thurman. He has made it clear that he does not want to fight Keith Thurman. But I'm speculating if he doesn't fight Keith Thurman, the WBC possibly will strip him also. And then you look on the other side, the WBA side. Virgil Ortiz and Stanionis is fighting the Eliminator to become Spence's mandatory. And the Spence fans keep trying to push Jerron Ennis, Virgil Ortiz on the Crawford side. You're not getting it. Virgil Ortiz is number one by the WBO. From my understanding, the WBO has made him a mandatory to fight Terrence Crawford in April or May. If he wants it. Ortiz decided to go the WBA route and fight Staniotis to become the number one for Errol Spence. Okay, fine. Jerron Ennis is next. He could petition the WBO to fight Terrence Crawford in April or May or whatever. He decided to go the IBF route. Their management teams do not want to fight Terrence Crawford. You're not getting it. They want Errol Spence. And you hear Jerron Ennis, Virgil Ortiz say they would fight Terrence Crawford, and they probably would. But the management teams are saying something else. Crawford wants to Spence fight, but he says he's open for business. He's open to negotiate with anybody. That includes Jerron Ennis, Virgil Ortiz, but their management teams want to go another route. I do not see Errol Spence and his team want to take on that gauntlet of these young guns. I do not see him staying at 147 fighting Jerron Ennis and Virgil Ortiz. If this is the situation and he's not gonna get the Crawford fight, I can see Errol Spence taking the Keith Thurman fight and moving up to 154. You leave your thoughts and comments below. By the way, Merry Christmas to everybody out there and their families. Have a blessed day. I'm gone.